Hello and welcome to Jumpin' Johnny Gaming Retro Walkthroughs. This Final Fantasy II Pixel Remastered video is the ninth part of the 100% walkthrough, where we will be getting the ultimate magic to help in the fight against the Empire. There is 24 chests and 3 bosses to face spread out in the tower. The first new enemy you can face is the werewolf, which was in the original Final Fantasy as a wolf reskin, but this is more like the traditional werewolf. It can cause the poison status. Head left and up for the first chest, and then head right to the top middle area, and go through the wall on the right hand side to get another chest containing a white robe, a very good armour to put on a character. Head back through the wall and then right to get a chest, and then down to the bottom right for another chest. Exit through the middle stairs to get to the next floor, then head to the top right to get two chests. A new enemy you can face in this dungeon, and it's a deadly or annoying enemy depending on your perspective, is the imp which you will face more the further you go up the tower. It can cause confuse and cast blink, so it can potentially make battles much more longer, so make sure they are a priority. You get a lot of flame weapons and armour in this dungeon. This is handy for fighting the fire and the ice gigases, the first and second bosses of the dungeon. Another enemy you can face is the Basilisk, which appeared in the original Final Fantasy. It can petrify one character with gaze. Head to the top left of the level to get a chest. Two new enemies you can face is the Killer Mantis. They have strong attacks and are weak to ice. And then there is Vampire Girl. She is undead, so she has got the usual cure and fire weaknesses. She absorbs a lot of HP when she attacks, and she can cast Confuse. The exit to the next floor is at the bottom right, and the next floor, if you step on the lava, you will lose 1 HP per character for every step on the lava. From the new floor, head all the way to the right and go through the door to be taken to the top half of the floor, then go all the way right for a chest. Head to the middle and up and get the chest to the right and left of the door. Another new enemy you can face in this floor is a stronger version of the Malboro, capable of causing paralysis and poison. Go through the door and you will face the Fire Gigas to get access to the next floor. This boss appeared in the original Final Fantasy. If you are over leveled like me because of the boosts, this will be easy. 
but if you're playing on an even field, use ice weapons and flame armor. He will be weak to ice magic and cast protect and blink to protect you from its attacks. Go through to the next floor. There is a chest to the top right and then enter the nearby exit and follow the linear path to get another chest and the icy sections act as the same as the lava and will drain your HP when you walk over it. Return to the previous floor, then head down and right for a chest. Follow the linear path and head to the exit to the next floor at the top right, grabbing another chest along the way. Follow the path down and around. You are aiming for the exit at the top right. Grab a chest on the way. The next boss to fight is the Ice Gygus, a complete opposite to the Fire Gygus. Again, this enemy was in the original Final Fantasy, so wear ice armor and equip flame weapons. It's weak to fire, and cast Protect and Blink to protect yourself. Head up into the next floor, then go slightly up and right for a chest, then head all the way to the bottom left and just before the exit is another chest, and then go through the door to the next floor. Head right for a chest and then to the top right for another chest. Another new enemy you can face in this dungeon is the Devil's Bloom, a powerful enemy with a high attack and can cause confusion. Head left for a chest and then left through the door to face the final boss of the dungeon. The toughest of the Gyguses. It is weak against poison, 
I used flare and holy and protected myself with protect and blink. But he does use a lightning attack, so you might want to cast shell as well. Continue to the next floor and then head straight up and take the last right to get a chest, which is guarded by Devil's Bloom and two Gotos, a boss you previously faced. Then take the next right below you and go through the door to take you to the next floor. Head left for a chest and go back to the entrance and there is a chest in the top right corner. Head all the way left and take the stairs up and go right to get the final chest in the dungeon, which is guarded by a white dragon which appeared in the original Final Fantasy. Its weakness is fire and is stronger than the Ice Gaius. Head to the four doors and you can see at the bottom right and enter the second door. A new enemy you can face in this dungeon is the Ice Lizard and its weakness is fire and it can deal a powerful ice attack to all the party. Head up and talk to Min Wu and activate all four silver orbs around the gold orb. This will boost all your character stats. And then finally the gold orb to get the ultimate spell. Magic that is frequently the most powerful magic in Final Fantasy games. 
It's not necessary to learn or use the spell to complete the game, but handy otherwise. And I'm going to teach the permanent four character we get later on. Then exit using the teleporter to the world map. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel where there are more complete retro walkthroughs plus achievement and trophy guides, secrets and tips from the latest releases. Thanks for watching.